All right, so I've just got to this spot and um, I just thought I'd turn the camera on because I just dug a really shallow little little shovel full and got a lot of spinels. So this might be this might be all right here. See what's in the second shovel full. Oh, actually that's not too bad. There's lots of spinels in there, and there's actually a big one, a bigger one there. Um, all right, let's fill the bucket up and see what's in it. And found that. Now the camera's not going to pick it up, but it, I think it's, I think it's a topaz. It's got a big crack through the middle of it, but that's that's uh, something very interesting. All right, let's keep going. It's um. Pretty easy to dig here, it's not too bad. In the gravel. And um, some more spinels there. It'll be interesting if it gets better as we go further down. Sometimes it gets better and sometimes it just gets sandy. We'll find out. Yeah, it doesn't look very exciting, that one. Too bad. Keeping an eye out for any bigger gemstones, any crystals. Found a couple of crystals today, so it's always fun. That's a better shovel full. Oh yeah. That's promising. Alright. See if I can get a little bit further down into there. on a rock here, trying to get around it. Oh yeah, there's some better spinels there. Alright, this looks like it might be good. The good thing about this spot is that um, it's easy to dig, it's uh, nice and shallow and uh, it's not going to take jacket to get into so this is good interesting to see what's in it all right I think I've got underneath that rock yeah that looks good So when you come out on a tour, this is the basics of, of um, 
doing some gem hunting. Basically, we're digging in the river. We're getting a shovel full of gravel. Really nice looking gravel too, by the way. And then we put it on the big sieve. And that is about a centimetre centimetre um, square, centimetre squares. There's some really nice spinel in that. And the, um, the small stuff, anything smaller than a centimetre, goes into the bottom. And we look for the good big gemstones on top. And that's basically how we do the classification. So we dig a hole, get the big rocks out first. Now what we do is we put the gravel into the big sieve. And we hole oh, stand in the hole so it's, uh, I don't have to bend down as far. And then the next step is to get all the little stuff out. And then once we get all the little all the sand out, we get the heavy stuff to the bottom. Try not to drop me glasses. Me spare ones. So what we're doing is we're dropping the gravel through the water. And all the heavy stuff goes to the bottom. And then I'm shaking them to the middle. So I'm getting all the heavy stones to the bottom and in the middle. And then we flip it over on the bank. Oh, and we check out what we got. And we actually went pretty good. So this is definitely a spot I can bring people. So if you're keen to do a wetsuit tour, this might be for you. So we'll just have a look here. This is the first shovel full, or the first bucket full. And lots of black stones. Heaps of them. We've got lots of topaz. One, two, three, four, Five, six, and there's some zircons in there. I can see zircons. I can't see any sapphires, but that doesn't mean they're not there. Yep. All right, I'm going to do another. There's quite a few topaz there. I'm going to do another bucket because this is a good spot, and I'm just going to have a dig around to see what else is here. All right.